glasses. He lost his glasses, but then last night I found them this morning. I was freaking out this morning story. because, you like, see? yeah, I can't see without them, so I had no clue where they were. So like I said, we're heading to Eastern Market, y'all. This is Sydney, and <laughs> Ilana is being our camera person. Armani. This is Armani. Say hi, y'all. Talk to them. Say stuff to them. Hey. <laughs> Tell them what's going on. Tell them how you're doing. Tell them how your, your, week, your week is going. Um, I don't um, <laughs> Well, usually the weekends we don't wake up so early. Yeah. <laughs> My face is still puffy. I just woke up. <laughs> you're going to look good. You're going to look good. But, um, Puffy face is a look, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna pass the mural, right? That's it. Nah. It's right around the corner. Oh shit! Can I curse? And Alana? Yeah, you can. <laughs> Alana just asked if she can curse. Now you guys know that I try to keep it family friendly but that I will drop any bomb that needs to be dropped to make my point. Bombs. We'll see how it goes. We'll see They're how like it goes. They're like truth bombs. I guess kind of like truth bombs. They're very honest. Have you guys noticed that the house has been a little bit like the like a truth serum? People <laughs> have just been saying whatever is on there. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. This might be how this particular group just is. Uh -huh. But I've just been surprised at some of the things that have come out of here. Like Armani yesterday going up going up to Chris and be like, did you throw out that did you throw out that girl painting? Oh my god. In front of everybody. Wait, Chris Robbins? Chris Robbins went right up to him and I called it out. I called yeah, it out because I, I was like, him. I'm uncomfortable I'm I'm uncomfortable if I don't say something right now. So then I had Wait, to say, what happened? Wait, no, what, what's it, wasn't the drama? Even, it wasn't even that serious. <laughs> I had to clear it up myself. Okay. <laughs> Maybe from your perspective, it wasn't that serious. Was, but but was, here he's standing there as a professor who is somebody who usually holds the authority, and you had called him into question. Yeah, we're all about humans. something that, like, seriously, if you think about it, if he did throw away that girl's <laughs> artwork, that's like a serious offense for a professor. Yeah. And like, he, yeah, it was trash. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not like it would lose him his job, but it would be scandalous. Mm -hmm. But scandalous. But I would hope that he would feel comfortable if he did throw it away. That he would feel comfortable telling the truth about it. Because if he didn't, then why would he throw it away? So yeah, I'll say, he, I'll I eat say. these. Um, but I don't eat them like from I places eat like those. this. Um, Tell him, Raj. Whose art did he throw away? Or supposedly, or... <laughs> that was a rumor. Yeah, who was it? We started a rumor. It was here? No, it was at school? No, nah, yeah, it was okay. in school. It was, um... It was like a 3D project or something? Okay, so it just so painting. you... Um, just so you know, mm -hmm. there's actually places where you can go in and, like, oh, yeah, I get like food that. or get some toast or something like that. But yeah. then there's also places like DeVry, um, DeVry sells, like, like you can buy a snacky thing and eat it. Mm -hmm. um, Rocky's Nuts is where um, Raphael was like, oh, where's that nut shop? That's Rocky's. I'm definitely going in there at some point. Um, the Russell Street Deli is kind of significant because they actually, um, as a at? practice, oh, as a practice, the yeah, they, as a practice, will give employment to citizens who are re-entering after incarceration. <laughs> and like most places, like you check that box and say you've been incarcerated and, means, yeah. and you don't get hired. Well, they make up, they're one of the places that makes a point of offering jobs to people who are coming back into society. So, Russell Street Deli. I think I might go there to get some yeah. 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 What was the yeah. um, time that we're supposed to gather back? Um, we didn't set it. He said he was, he was gonna set the time when. Okay, so they're there. Oh. Okay. Ten. Oh, yeah. That's... Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. I gotta go. I didn't. But you, you know, go do your own thing and hit your pitch, but you need to hit. No, I'm cool. Um, 
I told Alex that I was going to go there. That would be 20 ears of corn. Do you think that would be enough? Is there anything I can help you with? What do they sell? They sell usually like greens. It's like usually they sell the same thing everybody else is doing, but like you can kind of tell that they don't have the capacity to really bring their produce to market with a, at a price that's at a price point that's reasonable. Um, like they probably don't grow that much and for the, hu the hustle to like do the kids programming and to have the administrative staff and stuff for the organization it ends up hiking up the price of their stuff yeah. so you're really giving to charity when you when you buy right yeah i realize yeah. Yeah. i sometimes will go i'll sometimes go and get like one thing from them and just be like because i'm like i'm not rolling like that all right, Should we find see. something else? It was I, cheap, right? Yeah, it was uh, $8. What'd you get? Uh, uh, zucchini. Look, I have a bag. I didn't know that it was enough time to go. There's three, right? Sure. That's what they were saying. They tried to talk about it. They wanted to get it to turn it into like condoms. Okay. Yeah. So they can have the best produce? Like. Yeah, so basically this will be their front yard. Yeah. And then when they start to like, when other people start to like, open yeah, and change their business with the game to them, yeah. right? yeah. so they, what is Instant the market, market is it's different. going to become like, like all of these affordable things, those folks are going to hike up their rents so that they can have more high-end restaurants. So all of the affordable things that are here now, are likely going to go away because they won't be able to afford the rent mm -hmm. or they'll have to raise their prices. The six to one half dozen of the other. Do you want to get these? Hey, I think we're going to get some of your potatoes. I think um, two tubs of your potatoes All right. in the way. So here we are at Easter Market. Um, we've taken a great pass. We got a lot of amazing things we're going to take back to alt space and we're going to do some we're going to have a vegan barbecue that's actually going to feature the beyond meat burgers because uh, we feel like everybody might need a little bit of a break from the you know experimental eating that we've been doing although i think this people have found this is experimental no, the, the vegan yeah the, meat, right? the vegan burgers are also experimental but it might it might be a way for people to kind of feel a little bit more centered and you know it's processed it's kind of junk food but it's tasty and it's cruelty free well cruelty free ish the ish is they do their packaging is a little od they use a lot of plastic um, they, they do. They probably do way more in packaging than they really need to do. They're still big this week. Or do you want to just pick a couple out and I'll weigh them up for you? Okay, yeah, I'll weigh them up for I would get at least a peach per person. So at least 12. I would get at least 12. How's it going? How are you? Oh, I should, I should, I should, um, I should Instagram a little bit, right? Do you ever use your story? 
my story on uh, Snapchat? On Instagram. I never do. I because don't even know. Because you have an alt space, you know. You don't know how? You need a social media manager? I. He's telling me I don't have an internet connection. <laughs> Hold on. Did you ask me if I have a social media man? No, I asked if you need a manager for your social media. Probably. <laughs> Okay, this is saying that it's open Saturday year-round. False. They may have uh, they may have some stuff going, but it's not this market. Right. Like they have one shed open or something. They might have one shed. It might be shed three. Shed but it's three. not like, and it's also it's not the local farmers either, right? Because yeah. they don't have access to their, they're, they don't, they're not we'll, growing we'll all year. Better. There's no like indoor farms? There are some indoor farms actually. Look at you. You're all caught up. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm only walking like this because we have only 15 minutes left really. Are you walking some type of way? I'm walking fast. This is New York time. I guess I'm back on just regular New York I time. I always walk fast, so it's like... I walk like... I know, but I feel like that feeling comes from feeling the need to be somewhere and get somewhere. And you, you worried less about the, the transition. FOMO. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, the... How you get there is much less important than getting there. Which, uh, which makes you not appreciate the journey. Do you know about Detroit versus everybody? Kind of. I believe it's a local person who started the brand. Um, I've seen it, the slogan I've seen in all kinds of places, including um, Tyree has it painted, yeah. But they've turned it into like a t-shirt branding thing. Yeah. And were you here with me last year? Because some of us went down. Well, I went in. Yeah. There's, there's some cool stuff down there. It just seems like trendy clothing. It's trendy clothing, yeah. It's the same thing of like, okay, who's coming? Who are you appealing to? It's across the street from this market. You got Beyond Juicery and Eatery, right? Like, Ooh, about, I like, really would love a juice right now. Like, I'm like, see, I'm a juice person. But I feel like. But I'm moving, right? And I bet there's a lot of people who like. I like juices, who probably need to be, but the branding of it. It's like when you look at the branding of that, like who is that branded to appeal to? Who's that branded to grab? And that's some city folk ass shit. Yeah, there's a lot of design put into the... Whereas like Rockies, yeah. the hand painted signs on the windows, that's like... <laughs> And the people who uh, are playing music, do you think they come here every weekend? Excuse me. We had a question. The people who come to play every uh, the instruments, do they? Do you guys just come every weekend and just set up and play? Here every weekend. Cool. Nice. Thank you. No 